All right, got all the pond demolitioned. Now building the landscape beds and putting in the black diamond edging, digging it all out, fun stuff. What's up, it's Keith Kalfas. It's windy as heck out here, so I hope, I got a little wind muff on the camera. It's very windy today. We had storms all day yesterday. We worked on this job site uh, in the rain until it rained so hard we couldn't work anymore. So, I haven't been making any vlogs. I don't have time to make any vlogs. Uh, I got so much footage, I don't have time. Boring. So here goes. Uh, this property is 2,700 bucks to trim up the whole property, pull all the weeds, rip out a fountain in the front. It's not that big, put some mulch down. The YouTube thing, the reason my channel got big so fast is because I was putting out so much content. I was a, a passionately, happily obsessed with it. Most fun I've ever had in my life. But you can only do that off balance so long off balance so long, you know, coming home from work and hopping straight on the computer and ignoring your wife, ignoring the critical things in your business, you know? But sometimes you have to go off balance to make things grow quickly, right? I got a guy off work today because he got stung by bees in his hand yesterday. His hand is swollen. And the other guy's late, as usual. two days in a row probably make like after all taxes and expenses and payroll and all that crap 1200 a week that's every single week week after week after week after week after week after week after week, after week. averages out because I could lie but I made three four grand this week for two three weeks straight but what about the parts of the season where I ain't making crap and I'm only making like 800 a week so it averages out to 1200 a week and then I also make money off the uh, off of YouTube, my audiobooks and ebooks and video courses. But I also have uh, expenses there too. But I make a little bit extra money on that. Bam! You don't even know, but since the last clip, like five hours has passed, I've gone around, I've got materials, I've been on a million phone calls, but. Uh, You can you can get on the phone with people out just listen to me talk you can get on the phone with people and say you need to do this with your business and you need to hire a secretary and you need a right-hand man and you need a subcontract and you need a foreman and you need this and you need that that's what you need you need to do this
listening to Stanley Genetic Dirt Monkey. Running up to hella bugs now to get me a new still combi power head because mine it needs we've been pulling on it for like an hour i've took it apart changed the spark plug sprayed carbon cleaner in there it's when you get to that point where you keep pulling on something and you got to hold the gas down to keep it running i'm just going to go buy a brand new one and drop this one off for service i kind of told myself this year the things that are friction in your business well one second if this is here I mean, obviously, money controls everything, but the things that are a friction in your business that piss you off, that you keep dealing with, just, just fix it. Get the friction out of the way as soon as possible. Pull that cord or pull the thorn out. So this is gonna go buy a brand new one. Same with uh, the shrub trimmers, the eight, still HS45s. The other pair needed maintenance, so I just went and bought a brand new pair and dropped it off for service, and now you got two. So. Hella bucks, dog. 24 mile in Van Dyke up in the Shelby Township, dog. Look at this. I'm kind of pissed off. I just bought a brand new still uh, powerhead attachment pruner blade. Uh, not powerhead, it's just a manual pruner blade. And it's already lost. I only used it twice and it's already lost. I don't know where it is. Pissing money away. Here we are. I'm almost more concerned about weight than I am power. This is the old one. A carburetor, flush, tune-ups, air filter, spark plug, 130 bucks. And this is the brand new one. It's the KM131R. See, <laughs> he's showcasing. I want to get the lighter weight one so I don't end up having to spend 40 grand on shoulder surgery. But I think the 40 grand on soldier shoulder surgery is worth it. Take a dish. A dog. <laughs> but then you can change oh. your line to I lift things up and put them down. Put them down. I say because it again. Arms will be this big. He's doing the Arnold impression. Have you ever heard the Arnold's Pizzeria? No. By the Jerky Boys? No, I should. Uh, you will uh, laugh your ass off. Hello. You've reached Arnold's Pizza Shop. I'm not here now. I'm out killing pepperoni. If you want to reach me, if you want a pizza, I don't care, because I'm not here. Can't you realize that, idiot? But if you need a pizza sometime during the next few days, I can have it delivered to you, or maybe I will stable it to you. So that with like four extensions on it is like 46 pounds. And then you can say, I lift things up and put them down. 40,000 people. Bam. And I want these too. Yeah. These. These pieces. Dope. Whistle while you work. Better do boop 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 boop. All right, so we're demoing this little pond right now. I should have shown you, but it was a lot. And we can't get this liner out because it's filled with like a thousand pounds of stone. So I'm like, let's hook it up to a rope to the truck with a clasp to the pond liner and see what happens. We'll have to weave it through. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squash.
baby, my bros rock No breaks, we go, 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 go Throw shade, that's a no, no, no Go high, go low, low, low Like spinning in a 644 Cash money like 504 All right, got all the pond demolitioned. Now building the landscape beds and putting in the black diamond edging, digging it all out, fun stuff. It's happening, addictions. Many people are addicted to all kinds of things, substances. Uh, but one of the greatest addictions, or one of the greatest addiction never actually you never read about it in the papers because the people who are addicted to it don't know it. It's the addiction to thinking. It's actually addictive. Can't stop thinking, it's like can't stop drinking, can't stop smoking, can't stop eating, can't stop thinking. Thinking is the greater addiction than any of these. And it's an addiction because it's, first it's been a drug <laughs> to have been around for so long and uh, it's a pseudo sense of self. So it's a great reluctance on the part of most people to let go of thinking, because which is equated with the state of sleep, to let go of thinking. There isn't that much to understand in this teaching. There's a little bit to understand about how the ego works, but even that is just mainly a self-observation. The main thing about it is presence. Presence. And presence is a space of no thought, but presence can also be there in the background even when thinking is happening. You can still be not completely involved in the thinking. Thinking loses the ability to create havoc in your life and confuse you. So it, your choice then is not to understand more or to bring some intellectual analysis to the practice, but to practice the state of not thinking, which can be arrived at by various ways, as you probably know, if you don't think about it, just do it. I already cut it all out with a bed redefiner edger, see? But now I gotta get it deep. Pounding all this edging down. I reuse the old stakes too. The more stakes, the better. The guy who works for me is an idiot and doesn't respect me. I tell him over and over and over and over, look how thick this mulch is in these beds. I say, you put the mulch in an inch and a half all the way around so there's enough. He throws it all in super thick to get rid of it because he wants to go home right in front of my face. And I say, no, you're gonna pull it all out. And then by the time it's 6 p.m. and then he leaves, I just wanna wring his neck. Will literally screw people over and cut corners so you don't have to feel uncomfortable. So, see, got all this planted, now we're mulching. It's like 8 p.m. right now on a Saturday. We are all done. Ta-da! And I'll have time to videotape, so we gotta go. Hello, sir. That would be the brother-in-law. It is the wife of Trent's 30th birthday. 
Say hello to them. Say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. We have lots of food, we have flowers. Yummy. I accidentally ordered too much food. Yummy. Was the beef one good, Keith? Uh, I had this one with Philly cheesesteak. It was really good. I think they're all good. Yeah, there is. That one's amazing. Uh -huh. I'm not is there a little dog? Let's introduce you to Gracie. Where is she? Gracie! The monster in law. Where is she? There she is. Hey! I'm gonna give you a pet. So, what birthday party did you guys go to? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And then the birthday party was my aunt. Hey! Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. 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 Ye